Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today, the 26th of January, Holy Mother, the Church, calls us to the memory of Saints Timothy and Titus. Saint Timothy was from Lystra in Asia Minor, born of a Gentile father and a Jewish mother. He had probably accepted Christianity during Paul's first missionary journey, which was around 47 AD. As a boy of about 15, in time Paul heard Timothy's virtues and zeal, so highly spoken of an Iconium uh, and Lystra that he decided to adopt him as his traveling companion and assistant in addition to Silas who had come with him from Jerusalem. Timothy seems to have remained Paul's closest collaborator throughout his ministry. On his missionary journeys, when he was being sent to Rome as prisoner and after his acquittal, when he were returned east as far as Ephesus, at times we are here of him being sent ahead or kept there even when the St. Paul and the others moved. He was sent ahead to prepare people and he was kept behind, left behind, so that he can see if there are any new converts. From, Timoth from Corinth, Timothy was sent to Thessalonica to help people in the faith there. Paul's letters show Timothy as someone so young and timid as to be advised. Uh, St. Paul says, let no one disregard you, Timothy, because you are young and cautioned him against the Gnostic heresies. He must have been barely 32 when he became the bishop of Ephesus, a see that according to St. John Chrysostom comprised all the province, Roman province of Asia. Interestingly, St. John Damascene states that it was during the bishopric of, uh, of uh, Timothy that Mother Mary's uh, departure from this world happened. Affectionate through frail in health, he was always shown fatherly care by Paul, traditionally believed to have been stoned to death in Ephesus. His body was kept safe from the pursuit of the pagans and it was found in the cathedral of Thermoli in the coast of Italy where they had been completely walled up in masonry for safekeeping, so safekeeping during troubled times. Titus, Titus, another beloved disciple of Paul, is thought to have been a native of, of Antioch, a Gentile by birth. He was sent to Jerusalem to gather reports on our Lord's miracles and there became one of the 72 disciples. From Paul's two epistles to the Corinthians, we learn that Titus acted not only as his interpreter and secretary, but as his co-worker and fellow missionary whom he highly esteemed for his truly Christian zeal and solicitude and on whom he came to depend more and more as time went by. When Paul returned to Jerusalem in the year 51 to attend the council on the question of subjecting Gentile converts to requirements of Mosaic law, he was accompanied by Titus. Five years later, we hear of his being sent to the Ephesus church in Corinth, and to settle some internal dissension and to arrange about sending arms to the poor at Jerusalem. In 64, Titus, whose brother-in-law was governor of Crete, was chosen by Paul to carry out his missionary work in the Great Island, which is 120 miles long. The epistle to Titus contains detailed instruction on selecting and installing presbyters in each of the cities of Crete. In 65, A.D. he was sent to preach the gospel in what is now Dalmatia, Yugoslavia, but he seems to have returned to his episcopal labors in Crete the very next year and to have died a peaceful death in the 94th year of his life. His body was laid to rest in Cathedral of Gortina and remained there until the Sarsins destroyed the city in 823, whereupon his head was taken to the Basilica of St. Mark at Venice, where it is venerated to this day. Timothy and Titus both were young when Paul caught them and once they were caught into the net of the Lord, they became really huge instruments in the proclamation of the gospel. Let's look at our lives and ask ourselves this question. How is our relationship with the priest today? When we were young, we used to be around priests, we used to be around the church. But as we grow, we grow so, so big that even God cannot contain us. So we ask this from the Lord that we may really be like that little children who are around the church, even till we die. Amen.